Hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry M. Moore's and Blower! Good afternoon, it's about noon. And I'm working on some deals. <laughs> Instead of uh, selling my uh, mowers, I write in the description when I'm selling it locally, <laughs> we'll trade for 22 long rifle or nine millimeter ammo too. <laughs> so actually, <laughs> I've gotten a few bites on people who have ammo. I had no idea so many people had ammunition, you know? Anyway, I'd rather get the ammo right now than cash. I know, right? Isn't that crazy? But uh, I'm gonna be spending cash for ammo anyway, you know what I mean? But anyway, I've got a few bites going on. Maybe we'll make a couple of deals so I can get some ammo for mowers. How about that, huh? That's something new and different for sure. Anyway, uh, this is the last uh, mower I have in the back in my pile of projects. Yes, I do have about five or eight other mowers that have been in my tent since last year. Those should be clean and working before I put them away. You know, those are fixed mowers. But, you know, I don't know, some may have some gunk in it, you know, from too much fuel or fuel sitting in the car, but wasn't able to take out all the fuel before I stored them. So there might be some cloggy carburetors in there, but for the most part, those mowers should work, you know? This is the only one left, aside from the green lawn boy with the quantum engine that I found on the street that's been in my pile of projects that I haven't fixed yet. Now the green lawn boy one, my friend Robert Nighthawk over in Maryland, uh, he wants it, so I'm not gonna touch it. I'll let him fix it, you know what I mean? So we might do a trade or something, he's gonna give me some tools or something like that. Either way, I don't want it, he wants it, he can have it. Uh, this is just like the mower that I got from my neighbor Darren over there. Uh, I have that too. I found this on the street without the bagger, but I had an extra bagger that did. Fantastic, right? So just from looking at it, I haven't done a thing to it. The front wheels are kind of stiff. Like you can try to do it, but it needs some earl. No big deal, right? But everything rolls fine. And it's missing a blade. And I believe this is a 21 inch. So I think I have a bunch of 21 inches, but they're made for um, Craftsman LT1000 42 inch decks for lawn tractor, but they're 21 inches each and it should fit under here. You know what I mean? The tricky part is getting it to fit an MTD blade adapter is what it is. So we definitely need a blade first before we can even try anything. We'll check the oil, and the, it doesn't even look like it has any oil, and the very little it has is yucky. Just looked in the gas tank. There's like stuff in it, like grass, oil, oil drenched grass and dirt and stuff is in the gas tank. Anyway, I just went to my back uh, shed, and I, I actually have two blades that are the MTD kind, you know, almost like a four star. And then I took out a uh, Craftsman kind, you know, with the five star. This is shorter, shorter by an inch. So this is this is a 21, and these are 22. I'm not sure if this is 21 or 22. I think it's a 21. I shouldn't tilt it on this side because it's uh. uh it's a 21, because a 22 hits the baffle. And it's, that's a shame, because I think it will fit. Although it's not exactly quite a uh, four star. Because this uh, 21 inch blade is a five star, I need to make it so that it fits the four star. Four point, if you will. So I'm going to do some uh, grinding, get the little points off so that it's rounded. Rounded so that the diameter fits in the middle diameter of this perfectly. Then I'll put a washer and a bolt on here. Yes, that's right. Call me a hack because that's it. That is what I am. Get mowers running and that's it. I don't really care about all that other stuff.
it's a little off here because I wanted to center it. If it was exactly straight along with the uh, adapter, it would be off by like a smidgen. So I wanted the hole to be centered so it doesn't wobble. I'm going to blow out the gas tank this way. So I think I blew out the gas tank pretty well. It's pretty clean right now. And I just checked the oil again. There's nothing in it. I'm going to add some SAE 30 Plus from my friends over at Lucas Oil Products. About 20 ounces. So we just added gas. We got a new blade on there, cleaned out the gas tank. Let's start it up, right? Wrong. There's no recoil starters, no pull rope, no handle. That's why. So maybe he was running this, pulled the, pulled the string out, the rope, said the hell with it, threw it on the street. So maybe carburetor's clean and it's ready to go. Just doesn't have a pull rope. Fortunately, this is a quantum. And I've got like 15 or 20 recoil starters. I'm going to take the cover off, get the recoil starter out, replace the rope or entire recoil starter itself. So I went to the back, uh, found this, has a good handle, and looks like a good pull rope, and it's off its uh, recoil, I mean the cover, so it's just the recoil starter itself, and it would be a pain in the butt to get it in there, uh, to re-rivet re this thing back on there, so I'm not going to do that, just going to take the rope, I need a good rope and a good handle. So this is a good recoil, has a good coil in it, you know, but I need the rope. So we're going to turn this thing counterclockwise until the end. Until it won't go anymore. You can tell it's a good recoil because I'm, I'm twisting it with high tension and it's smooth. So it won't go anymore, but I have to let it go a little bit so it matches the hole area. There's the hole area. It's kind of hard to do when covers attached to it, you know? I may have to burn this. Burn the tip. And I could actually see the hole. And there we go. Cut it out. Go 
grabbed it. Make a knot. Remove the screwdriver. Let it rewind on its own. There we go. We have a pull rope now on the recoil starter. And the pawls move out. The pawls, P A W L S, pawls move out when you're pulling it and retracts when you retract the string, the rope. So that's working properly. We're just going to put this back now. While I'm here, it's running over here. cover off this area here it's really dirty so um, we got the recoil starter on here I'm gonna add some gas in the newly cleaned fuel tank right and uh, hopefully it's clean enough just gonna put some gas in here enough to get it started I have a feeling it's not gonna start because I have a feeling the carburetor is really dirty but you never know Okay, I've moved it. As you can see, this thing was filthy. All right, so uh, put gas in it. I don't think it'll run because I think the carburetor is really dirty, but got gas in it, new recoil starter. Let's give it a try. We got oil in it, brand new. actually ran ran runs terrible but uh, first pull so I have a feeling the carburetor is dirty we're gonna have to take that apart now Check out what's in the bowl. That's not bad. Clean fuel, but it has some debris. Desbris. Not 
not bad. Put the bolt back on, put my finger over the hole. Now that it's somewhat clean. Using some uh, contact cleaner from my friends over at Lucas Oil Products. Same thing as carb spray, guys. Yep. The motion tube is clear. As you can see, it's coming through. Little hole here. Hole here. Hole there. Walsh plug area, right? Pull it out and see. Uh -huh. Good seat. Needle's good. Just put it back real quick. Test it. Good. Clean bowl. Make sure the gasket's not crimped. Uh huh. It's nut. <laughs> You're a nut. You can see through it. It's clear. It's clear there, but let's blow it anyway, just to make sure. As you can see, it comes out of both holes from here. Plug this hole with your thumb, a little this way. It's clean. Gasket. And we'll put this back on and see if we have better results. Uh, it really wasn't all that dirty, so I'm a little uh, worried that it might be something else because it ran while it ran it didn't ran terrible but it really wasn't all that dirty you know that's it with an impact just a couple of dee, 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 that's it we'll put this back now Guys, think it'll work? Let's see. Damn, that's smooth. That's smooth. Even the blade, you see? You guys are about to tell me, oh, Henry, that blade's not gonna work. That's gonna vibrate like crazy. 
it's smooth, okay? Maybe a little vibration, but you know what? Works, right? Now, let's see if we should just try to put some Earl penetrating oil on the wheels so it'll slide better. Using some penetrating oil from my friends over at Lucas Oil Products. This is kind of an uh, empty bottle. It's not the right one. Of course, it's a 9 16. Uh huh, you can tell because it's uh, kind of rusty here, see? Much better. Look at that. Much better. Look at that. Way better, man. That's all you need. Two seconds, man. I'm going to do the other side. Done. A lot of oil over there. I'm gonna use some super clean. Let it percolate, sit for a bit, do a quick wipe down. And we should be done! Really oily here. Turn my water on outside soon enough. Going to my spot at the church to trade people, uh, trade with people, and do my transaction. I'm actually selling the guy that I sold the go kart twenty-five dollars for this wheel. He wants it. He needs it. He'll pay. Got one of my uh, hundred and eighty-five dollar mowers in there that uh, I might trade for ammunition later. How exciting! So pretty cool, huh? Picked it off the street, changed the recoil starter, gave it some new oil, 
uh, greased the wheels, added a blade on there, cleaned the carburetor, gave it a wipe down, added a bagger. That actually was kind of a lot to do today, but uh, look how it turned out. Put it on your lawn on a nice sunny day, take some great pictures. Who wouldn't want this for 135? I'll list it for 150. Take as little as 100. It is just a push mower, but it's in good shape with a quantum engine. <sighs> Getting my last one from the pile project done for sale. It looks pretty good, to be honest with you. <laughs> and it mows pretty good too. Runs really nice. Thanks a lot for joining me on today's episode. We'll see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Hey. If you guys enjoyed the video, remember to give me a like. Also, comment below. Subscribe. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. It's free, right? Also, hit that little bell. That way you'll get post notifications whenever there's a new video and you won't miss out on any of them. Remember to follow my Instagram and Facebook, as well as if you'd like to donate a dollar or two, paypal.me slash mowers and blowers. Really appreciate all the support. Also, to keep the videos coming every day, support the channel. Bye.